In today's video, guys, I'm going to introduce to you the UK's most high-profile police car. See you right after the intro. Peace. George has already alluded to what's under here, but what we're going to show you, and I'm really excited to show you this, this is probably the most high profile, certainly police car in the country, but arguably the most high profile car in the country at the moment. So without further ado, we're going to do the honours uh, and we're going to show you what's underneath here. All this responsibility, guys. Are you ready for this? Right, let's try not get it caught on anything. Check out the new Lotus Evora, guys. So, guys, this is the GT410 Sport. It's a 3.5 litre supercharged engine running, as you saw in the title, 410 horsepower. Now, this isn't a car that you're going to be seeing on the road, but this is an engagement vehicle to try and attend to all the needs that we have in regards to car scene content and anything road safety based. So, Owen, I'll leave the rest to you. I know this is a 3.9 second to 60 with 186 mile an hour top speed. But guys, I think you want to hear it from the man himself, MPS Owen Messenger. Let's come in, let's have a look at the car and I'll show you around it. So yeah, Lotus Evora, it's a GT410 Sport. So as the name would suggest, it's 410 brake horsepower from the 3.5 litre supercharged V6 engine. It's a mid engine, we'll show you that in a minute. Um, and it's a car that was developed by Lotus, mainly for use on the track. And it is phenomenal on the track. I have driven it up at Lotus um, on the Heffel track. And well, admittedly, Lotus drive it much better on the track than I do. Um, but even so, it's really good fun to drive on the track and it's incredible. The handling is immense. Um, but on the roads here, it's driven within the highway code. It's not an operational vehicle. Um, it's not something that we would use for general everyday policing. It's loaned to us by Lotus for a year. Uh, they pay for everything on it. They service it. They pay for the tyres. The only thing we've paid for on it is the livery and it will be going in for a full light fit. It's got some lights in it at the moment that are a temporary fix, um, but it will be having a full light fit on it. Um, and that's largely because when we're driving it to and from events, sometimes we have to stop at things that have happened, at incidents, at RTC. So those lights are there for protection for us because obviously we're not going to drive past an incident on the road. We're going to stop and we're going to deal with it. So the lights are largely for protection for us. Um, but we'll be taking it to shows and events um, and it's about engaging with people, people like young drivers, older drivers or motorcyclists, people that wouldn't normally talk to us. Um, and that's what the car's all about. So as you can see, it's all liveried now. It's got the Battenberg along the side with the police underneath and that was all fitted for us by Blue Light Graphics over at Burgess Hill. Uh, and we took the car to them in order for them to do it because it's a specialist vehicle. It's not something that we would be able to livery here. All the livery is cut to size and it's done there at Blue Light Graphics. Um, they've got the temporary light fit in it at the moment, but like I say, it's going to have a full 360 light fit just for our protection on the road more than anything. Um, so the car itself, like I say, is 410 brake horsepower, but the handling and that is really something else on this car. Um, and also, of course, you've got the braking systems on it, like the AP Racing brakes, front and rear, um, which are just, uh, well, they're AP Racing, aren't they? So they're pretty impressive. But if we come and have a look at the back of the car, I'll show you the engine, and we can have a look at some of the carbon fibre, which is just incredible on this car. So all over this car, you've got carbon fibre. This is real carbon fibre. It's not a wrap or anything, got the hold of the roof, you've got the hold of the tailgate and inside all the vents and uh, holes in the car, you'll see that it's all a real carbon fibre. Now, if we pop open the boot, it's as light as a feather. You can see I'm just raising it with a finger here. Um, and inside the boot, you will be able to see the engine. So it's a mid-engine. Um, and it is that 3.5 litre supercharged V6. Uh, and you can see the supercharger on the top there. Um, and that's mid-engine because of the, the famed Lotus handling. Um, and in the boot here, you can see it's probably big enough for a Tesco's meal deal, um, but it's actually modelled around a set of golf clubs, I believe. I'm sure Lotus would be able to correct me if I'm wrong, um, but that's what I believe it was modelled around. Um, so you could probably get a set of golf clubs in there if you squished them up. Um, I've got a car cleaning kit in it and, and lunch. Um, but uh, at the back here, you can see 
everything on this car is designed with a purpose in mind so you've got all the diffusers all of this stuff works um, and you've also got these holes here and those holes I believe are designed to release the pressure from the rear wheel arches um, which again aids in the handling on the track and like I say on the track this thing is incredible so coming around to the front of the car like I said at the back everything on this car is designed with a purpose in mind and it all works so if we look at these holes at the front and again it's all nicely done in carbon fiber there is ducting that takes the air to the places where it needs to go um, and this is the same all over the car we'll show you the sides that takes the air into the engine bay in a minute um, but there's also a tray and under tray that goes right underneath the underside of the car and when we take the car for its MOT we're going to video that so we'll show you all that for you as well hopefully. Um, so yeah like I say everything is designed with the purpose in mind and a lot of that is for its handling and stability on the track. So like I said at the front of the car everything's designed for a purpose well there's your cooling vents on the side because it's a mid-engine you've got, got to get the air in there somehow so the air is going in through the vents here into the engine and you've also got mesh vents on here as well um, that I'm guessing will release some of that hot air from inside the engine bay because it does get pretty hot in there. Obviously guys Owen has let me get inside the Evora so I can ask him some questions in a slightly different manner but being six foot four it's not the easiest thing to get inside. Right Owen so I'm going to give you my first impression straight away and throw a few questions your way that hopefully relate to the audience. I can imagine the first question you're going to get asked is is this paid for by taxpayers money? No. It's paid for why? by Lotus. Okay. okay Can you give us so, a little bit more detail than that? Yep. So Lotus loaned the car to us for a year. Uh, they pay for all the servicing and the maintenance on it. And all we pay for is the livery. Um, and the light fits, but obviously buying the lights, um, if we haven't already got them, we get to keep the lights and we'd put them in another vehicle anyway. So there's no real cost, only the cost of actually wiring them up. And we've got our workshops that can do that. Um, so other than that, it's really only putting fuel in it and believe it or not, it will on average do about 27, 28 miles per gallon, which is a hell of a lot more than our cars do. Now, what I'm picking up on this straight away is coming from someone that doesn't have a brand new car, certainly someone that doesn't have a car with lots of modern tech inside, is that it's got an immobilizer built in that I feel your average person that were to get hold of this key wouldn't be able to just jump in and start the car. So guys, running through what you'd have to do to actually start this car, which is quite exciting from my end, as obviously I'm certainly not in the financial position to own a car like this. It's foot on the brake, key in, ignition on, unlock the car from that sense, and you press this fancy button on the dash. Yeah. Clearly Owen is more experienced than me, because I don't drive cars like this around for a living. But yeah, this thing is an absolute monster, but I would feel like we'd be letting you guys off short we didn't chuck you around the back to show you how good this car sounded. Oh my God, what an absolute monster. Yeah, that do. Right, Owen, it is such a pleasure to have this absolute monster, not only here as a part of my videos, but as a part of the local force, which obviously means a lot to me but we do need to talk about some serious stuff before we take this thing out and explore and go and continue with our day. Talk to me about how much it would cost to close your average arterial route and talk to me about why this is something that's now sensible. So the idea behind this car is that it helps us talk to people and engage and get across that road safety message that we're trying to get across. And a lot of the time people won't talk to us at car events and shows and meets and things like that. Um, so we need something that will just grab people's attention. I think you'll agree that <laughs> this does that. Um, and everywhere we take it, we are absolutely mobbed. And, and that's brilliant because that's what it's here for. But we don't pay for it, but even if we did, if it was £90,000, one fatal on the road will cost the emergency services roughly around 2.2 million. Obviously that depends on the severity of the fatal, how many people are involved, um, but you're talking around £2.2 million for a fatal on the road. And to close a main arterial route like the A30 or the A38, go on. One million an hour? One million pound an hour cost to the local economy. See, guys, I am learning something. Yeah, so he does listen. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you've only got to do the maths and think if we saved one life with this vehicle and it cost us 90,000 pounds, which it didn't, um, but if it did, 
if it saved one life, it's already saved us money. Um, but like I say, we don't have to spend £90,000 on it because Lotus give it to us for free. Right, everyone, we've spent enough time in the hangar. It's about time we get out and about and go and put this thing to the test. We've left HQ and here we are at Cranbrook School, which is in the, the new town of Cranbrook, just outside of Exeter. So today we've come down to just have a chat with the children and see what the children think of the car. Let's wait and see. News 4 and 5, say hello to YouTube. Yeah! Right, what are we here for then? To see you! Yeah. You've all come to see me, haven't you? Yeah! yeah. 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 You're dying to see what's under there. What do you think's under there? Yeah. 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 Right. No, it doesn't fly. So, do you all live in Cranbrook? Yeah! Not me. And what do you see in Cranbrook? Do you see lots of speeding people? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Is speeding good or is speeding bad? Yeah. Guys, what an amazing day at Cranbrook Educational Campus, is that correct? Yeah! Okay, right. So, obviously, we've made an amazing video today on everything road safety, but how mean would it be if I didn't let these guys do my outro? So I'm actually going to give it to the kids this time and I'm going to pass it all on to them. So guys, what do you say? Right guys, you know what to do. See you in the next video. Peace Bye. out.